Imagine if building muscle didn't have to be so complicated, and if there were ways to see faster progress. Just clear, efficient progress that allows you to grow your muscles incredibly quickly in the shortest amount of time possible. Science is finally catching up to what top bodybuilders have been doing intuitively for years, using precise, effective strategies that cut through the noise and actually work. Forget the outdated myths that keep you spinning your wheels. Today's breakthroughs are here to simplify your journey, saving you time and maximizing every workout. Here's the catch. Some of these methods might challenge traditional thinking, but for those ready to step outside the old school box, the rewards are massive. You'll discover muscle building strategies that were once out of reach. And the best part? They don't require hours of effort, just smarter, targeted moves. Ready to unlock the techniques that could transform everything about your muscle growth? Let's go. When it comes to building muscle, the one principle that truly drives growth is progressive overload. Imagine your muscles as employees at work. If you don't challenge them with tougher tasks, they'll never go beyond their comfort zone. By gradually increasing the weight you lift, you're sending a clear signal to your body. It needs to get stronger. But here's the good news. You don't need to start with heavy weights right away. A simple yet powerful strategy is to add a little more weight each week or even sneak in a few extra reps. The goal is to keep pushing your muscles to adapt and grow stronger. However, lifting heavier weights is just one piece of the puzzle. Muscle growth isn't solely about how heavy you can lift. It's also about your total training volume. This means adding more sets or increasing the frequency at which you train a particular muscle group. For example, if you're currently training chest only once a week, try adding a second session. By increasing the number of opportunities for your muscles to grow, you accelerate the process and see faster results. Your body thrives on these new challenges and will respond by adapting quickly to the increased demands. The beauty of progressive overload lies in its simplicity and effectiveness. It taps into your body's natural ability to adapt. Each time you work out, your muscles experience tiny micro tears, and as your body repairs them, that's when real muscle building occurs. Think of this as construction work. Each micro tear is a step towards stronger, bigger muscles. But here's the exciting part. There's much more to this process than just adding weight, and we're about to dive into the finer details that will supercharge your gains. Now let's talk about mechanical tension. This is one of the driving forces behind muscle growth. And it's all about how much force your muscles need to generate to move a weight. Imagine holding a weight at the bottom of a squat and feeling that deep burn in your legs. That's mechanical tension at work. It's this tension that sends signals to your body, telling it to start the muscle building process. But here's where things get interesting. It's not just about how much weight you lift, it's about how you lift it. Controlled movements, especially during the lowering, eccentric phase of an exercise, can maximize the tension your muscles experience, leading to even more growth. When you focus on the eccentric portion of an exercise, like slowly lowering the barbell during a bench press, your muscles are stretched under load. This stretching activates key growth pathways in your body, like M2R, which is crucial for protein synthesis and muscle gain. So next time you're in the gym, don't just rush through your reps. Slow it down, especially when lowering the weight, and feel the difference. It's a simple adjustment that can lead to serious gains over time. One of the best ways to really use mechanical tension to your advantage is by incorporating exercises that challenge your muscles from different angles and phases. For example, using both compound movements like squats and isolation exercises like leg curls can help target muscle fibers more effectively. This balanced approach ensures you're maximizing the tension across your entire workout, setting the stage to build muscle fast. But mechanical tension is only part of the muscle building equation. Up next, we'll dig into the role of muscle damage. Muscle damage plays a critical role in muscle building. Every time you push your muscles to their limits, especially during intense workouts, you're causing tiny tears in the muscle fibers. Don't worry though, this is a good thing. Your body's natural response to these micro tears is to repair them, and in the process, the muscle fibers become bigger and stronger. This is one of the reasons why you might feel sore after a challenging workout, but that soreness? That's a sign of your body adapting and getting ready for more muscle gain. What makes muscle damage even more interesting is that it's not always about how much weight you lift, but how you lift it. Slow, controlled movements, particularly during the eccentric phase of an exercise when you're lowering the weight, tend to cause more muscle damage. For example, if you're doing a bicep curl, the lowering phase is just as important as the lifting phase. Slowing it down can increase the muscle damage and, in turn, boost muscle growth. Controlled eccentrics are a game changer when it comes to optimizing your workouts. However, muscle damage isn't the only factor driving growth. 
It's a delicate balance because too much muscle damage can actually set you back, leading to overtraining or injury. The key is to allow your body to recover properly between sessions, giving it the time it needs to repair and grow those muscle fibers. Now, there's another crucial element at play, metabolic stress, and that's what we'll explore next. Now, let's talk about metabolic stress. Sounds fancy, right? But really, it's just that intense feeling when your muscles are on fire and you're thinking, why did I sign up for this? That burn you feel during those last few reps is actually a good thing. It's your muscles building up metabolic byproducts like lactate, which signals your body to grow. So the next time you're in that this hurts, but in a good way moment, just remember, you're laying the groundwork for serious muscle growth. Here's the cool part. You don't need to go super heavy to tap into this. You can use techniques like supersets or drop sets, where you basically don't let your muscles catch a break. Imagine doing squats and then jumping straight into lunges with barely any rest. Yep, your muscles are going to hate you for a bit, but that's where muscle building magic happens. It's like putting your muscles through a mini boot camp. And if you're feeling adventurous, try blood flow restriction, BFR training. It sounds a little wild, restricting blood flow to your muscles, but it's actually super effective with lighter weights. You can pump up those muscles without putting too much strain on your joints. Plus, you get to look like a pro at the gym, and who doesn't love that? All right, now let's see how all this ties into nutrition and how it fuels your gains. When it comes to muscle building, your body's ability to repair and grow muscle tissue boils down to one major process, muscle protein synthesis, MPS. Essentially, MPS is the rebuilding phase after your muscles have been worked hard and broken down during training. But for this process to kick in effectively, you need the right fuel, and that's where nutrition steps up. Without enough protein in your diet, your muscles don't have the building blocks they need to grow. So, if you're serious about muscle gain, dialing in your nutrition is just as important as your workouts. Let's talk numbers for a second. Research shows that consuming between 1.5 to 2.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight is optimal for muscle growth. So, if you weigh 80 kilograms, you're looking at around 128 to 176 grams of protein per day. This might sound like a lot, but once you break it down into meals, it's totally doable. Picture this. Breakfast could be eggs and oats, lunch could be chicken and rice, and dinner could be a nice steak with some veggies. Snacks, Greek yogurt, or a protein shake. Simple, right? And speaking of protein shakes, whey protein is a fantastic option post-workout because it's absorbed quickly jump-starting the recovery process. Timing matters too. While your total daily intake is the most important factor, getting some protein in within 30 minutes to two hours after your workout can boost your MPS levels, helping you build muscle fast. It's like giving your body a head start in the recovery race. So next time you finish a killer session, don't forget to refuel. All right, with nutrition covered, let's see why rest and recovery are the unsung heroes of muscle growth. Here's something that doesn't get talked about enough. Muscle growth happens when you're resting, not when you're lifting. That's right. All the hard work you're putting in at the gym is only half of the equation. Your muscles need time to recover, repair, and grow stronger. Which is why proper rest and recovery are absolutely crucial if you want to maximize your muscle gains. Think of it this way. If you're constantly pushing your body without giving it time to recover, it's like trying to build a house without letting the concrete set. You need to give your body a break to solidify those gains. But rest isn't just about taking days off from the gym. It's about getting quality sleep. When you sleep, your body releases growth hormones and testosterone, two key players in the muscle building game. So if you're serious about making progress, those late night Netflix binges might need to take a back seat. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night to optimize recovery. Trust me, your muscles will thank you. And here's a tip. Incorporate active recovery on your rest days. Simple activities like light walking or stretching can improve blood flow to tired muscles without overdoing it, speeding up recovery and reducing soreness. But recovery doesn't stop at sleep. Managing stress plays a massive role in how well your body bounces back after intense workouts. Chronic stress raises cortisol levels, which can interfere with recovery and even limit your muscle building potential. Taking steps to reduce stress, whether through meditation, deep breathing exercises, or just taking some time to relax, can be a total game changer for your gains. So, once you've got your recovery on lock, let's dive into some strategic exercise techniques that will take your muscle building efforts to the next level. Ready? Let's dive in. When it comes to maximizing muscle growth, one of the most effective strategies is something called periodization. Think of it as a master plan for your workouts. 
a way to ensure you're constantly making progress without hitting plateaus. Periodization is all about cycling your training in phases, each with its own focus, whether it's building strength, size, or power. This keeps your body on its toes and continuously adapting, which is key for consistent muscle gain. It's like switching up the recipe just enough to keep things exciting but still aiming for the same delicious results. A common approach is linear periodization, where you gradually increase the weight you lift while decreasing the number of reps over a few weeks. For example, you might start with higher reps and lighter weight, and as the weeks go by, you're lifting heavier but with fewer reps. By the end of the cycle, your muscles have been exposed to different stimuli, which helps promote muscle building and strength gains. And once you hit the end of a cycle, you throw in a deload week, a lighter week to let your body recover before diving back in stronger than ever. For those who are ready to take things up a notch, block periodization is a more advanced method. In this approach, you dedicate specific blocks of time to different goals, say, six weeks focused on hypertrophy, then switch to a block targeting strength. This kind of strategic planning ensures that you're not just going through the motions, but actively working towards building more muscle fast. With periodization in place, let's explore how combining compound and isolation exercises can further enhance your results. When it comes to building muscle fast, not all exercises are created equal. Muscle growth benefits greatly from a mix of compound and isolation movements, each playing a unique role in your routine. Compound exercises like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses are the heavy hitters. These movements recruit multiple muscle groups at once, allowing you to lift heavier weights and stimulate more overall muscle gain. Think of compound exercises as the foundation of your training program. Without them, you're missing out on some serious gains. However, isolation exercises, like bicep curls or leg extensions, also have their place. While compound lifts hit several muscles at once, isolation exercises allow you to focus on specific muscles, giving them extra attention when needed. For example, if you notice your arms lagging behind, adding more targeted work like tricep extensions can help balance out your physique. It's like fine-tuning your body, ensuring every muscle gets the growth it deserves. Just remember, compound movements should make up the bulk of your workouts for maximum muscle building, while isolation exercises are like the icing on the cake. A smart strategy is to start your workout with big compound lifts when you have the most energy and save isolation exercises for the end. This way, you're hitting your major muscle groups with the most intensity, then polishing things off with isolation work. It's a simple but effective way to structure your workouts for optimal results. Okay, with the exercises covered, let's look at another smart way to tweak your training, tempo manipulation. Tempo manipulation is a seriously underrated tool in the muscle building arsenal. By controlling the speed of each rep, especially during the lowering eccentric phase, you're not just lifting, you're maximizing muscle growth. Slowing down the tempo increases time under tension, which basically means your muscles are working harder for longer, pushing them to grow. So next time you're lowering that dumbbell, take it slow and feel every second. It's a small change, but it makes a huge difference. Think of it this way. A quick rep is like a sprint, but a slow controlled rep is more like a marathon for your muscles. The longer they're under tension, the more they're forced to adapt. For example, Instead of rushing through a squat, try lowering yourself over three to four seconds, then pause at the bottom before coming back up. It might sound simple, but your muscles will feel the extra workload and you'll be setting yourself up for serious muscle gain. See you in the next video, which is here in the left corner of the screen.